we move here? We have just arrived to Florence from Rome and we are staying right next to Duomo and Piazza Columbia Billy Carousel. The kids are loving ah! our apartment. Florence have actually over exceeded my expectations. We are staying in the, in the middle of a very, very pretty area. Lots of restaurants, lots of shopping. We are like two minutes away from Duomo, maybe three minutes away from Carousel and 10 minutes walk from Uffizi Gallery. And that's where we're gonna be heading now. Whoa, let's see. Wow, look at this. Here's our kitchen, another bedroom. Oh my, what a beautiful place. You pull up couch. What? Justin, thank you so much for finding this. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. It is amazing. Bless you. We are at the Pizza Gallery cafeteria at the top, and it's a must stop. It's so breathtakingly beautiful. The gallery, Pizza Gallery, I think, kind of impressed me. I didn't know if the kids will enjoy it, but I think. Sorry, did you like some? What did you like so far? I like too, like a lot of like the Medusa. I really like Medusa. Yeah, Medusa actually makes it to the kids' books quite a bit out of all of the characters, so we've seen quite a few. Saluti! 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 all the horses outside in the uh, piazza so we are going on the horse right she's back there enjoying herself the watching the horses look at the shark jesse uh, look a bubble juliet We were a little tired from croissants and all the sweets we've been eating, so I found this uh, place that serves uh, American-style breakfast with eggs and bacon and avocado toast. So that's what we're gonna have now, and it's actually right next to Dante Alighieri's uh, museum. I haven't checked if that one is open or not. It wasn't on our to-do list, but maybe we'll stop by there. Today actually is the first cold day uh, since our start of our trip. And it's not awfully cold, it's just like mid-50s and it's a little drizzly. Let's walk back. <laughs> Here is Casa di Dante. Jilly. Actually, I didn't realize they have breakfast, so we're gonna come back here for breakfast because they're right next door. They've been open since 1733 and they have pastries, they have regular breakfast, they have lots of desserts and chocolate and it looks amazing.
we are going to the carousel right in the middle of the piazza. Kids all ready to call. You guys cannot get on yet. I need to buy tickets, Justin. This one? I know how to Ponte Vecchio. It is the oldest bridge in Europe that has not been destroyed during World War II and it stands on the river. It's really picturesque and pretty. It has lots of jewelry shops. Ponte Vecchio is full of jewelry shops. It's all jewelry. All of it. Oh my god. Our host in Florence recommended this shop, Florence Art Gallery, uh, and they make original china, made in Italy, made to order. So I've ordered two plates for my mom and myself and it's gonna get shipped to the house. Pretty excited. We are in Boboli Gardens and it's a very steep uphill the whole time uh we were wondering how italians stay so slender with all the carbs i think we figured it out Yesterday I didn't get to finish the day, went to Baboli Gardens, unfortunately it was rainy and really foggy, it was actually like the only rainy day since we've been here, and uh, you couldn't see the view, but I'm, on the clear days you could see the whole Florence, you go really really high up, it has all this labyrinth and little pathways on the side, uh, so if it wasn't nearly as wet we would definitely spend even more time there. After that we just had dinner, we had a steak Florentine, it was the first time eating steak here because I think we all kind of passed it out a little bit. And today the plan is just is picking up the car and we're heading out to Tuscany. We're going to Pisa because our check-in into the castle in the uh, countryside is not until 5 p.m. today. <music> I can't believe we walked so far yesterday morning and there is a perfectly good American breakfast right next door at Cafe Gilly. We have back here again. Yeah. We have arrived to Pisa. It was only an hour drive from Florence and uh it is actually pretty cool we just spent like 10 minutes taking creative pictures at the moon tower of pisa because there's only one time you can do something like this how was your experience driving in italy it's good nothing to report no no you expect it to be more stressful i would not want to drive in rome but outside the city was easy Juliet being cute and little got her way and we're doing another horsey ride. Oh the tour turned out to be really interesting. It was 50 euro and if you come here just like we did and don't know much, it was a great way to see the city and learn the history. 
Night Templar started here and now it's a very exclusive school for mathematics, physics, has only 300 students every year. Are you feeling inspired by the beauty around you? So if the whole place feels like our place, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels like our own castle because there's such a big area. Imagine, there's even more. I did! Oh, I can't even imagine that. Watch out! We are exploring a little bit of the castle, so the, it is an actual castle from 14th century, I think. I can't remember. I'll, Julian, let's go. I found it. But there is also an ancient grotto here that has been the whole time, so we're going to go and explore that. <laughs> particularly beautiful i expected a lot based on the pictures it's beyond anything i've anticipated compared to the the stairs the roman apartment had the easiest ones it keeps going it keeps going yeah Justin is in our Tuscan castle kitchen trying to make the stove work. We've ordered so much food last night at the restaurant, so we're gonna be eating it for breakfast. Good morning from the castle. Getting ready for our little Tuscan breakfast. Mm. Leftover breakfast right here. Mm. We are going truffle hunting. I've actually learned quite a few things about truffles. First of all, they're in symbiotic relationship with the trees that they grow. Most of them grow on oak. Some do poplar. I can't remember another type of the tree. Oh, hazelnut. And they kind of feed each other. Uh, the time when we are uh, truffle hunting. What truffle are we hunting for today? What truffle? What type of truffle? Um, Spetiolo. Marzuolo. Marzuolo. Uh, it's a black truffle. The white truffles can be found only in the summer and they're very, very rare. I actually personally like the black truffles. We, uh, they use dogs to find them because the truffles grow under the ground uh, on the roots of the tree. 
Okay. The training for Oh, training. Ah, uh, training mushroom. That's for the training. We are at the winery where they have horses. They actually have a pool here as well, and kids got to ride so horses through Tuscany. And while well, Juliet was taking a nap, and I stayed with her, and then we came up here. She got to sit on the horse and fed the horses. And I mean, I think it's total goals, dreams come true right here. Juliet's dream come true. She's been wanting to sit on the horse for so long. Take a picture, you have to see. Okay, Francie. Woo! <laughs> You're riding a horsey! <laughs> Maybe shaky, huh? Up there. It is so picturesque and beautiful here. See? Like you camp out in that little. Well, maybe. I didn't plan to go to a winery, but here's Justin in his natural habitat. Ooh, trying to select the best wine. This place is amazing. It's a winery, a restaurant, the horseback riding. It's so lovely. I'm gonna put the handle below for what it is. But also Toscana. He tried it twice and he decided that's the best. I'm so happy. Can we move here? <laughs> We made it back to El Caso and now we're sitting up for a family dinner in the garden. We picked up food from the winery where we stopped by road horses and also uh, stopped at the grocery store. So now we're gonna have a lovely family dinner. Oh, 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 oh. Call it a, a little salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today we're heading out for a day trip to Cinquetera, which is about two hour drive. And we're stopping uh, by for breakfast at Padera del Anselmo. We liked it so much. Uh, cereals, uh, milk, uh, inside there. Okay, I'll you check it. We have made it to Monterosa Al Mare. And we almost gave up because it was really hard to find parking. The road was really difficult. So we originally thought about coming here by train and in retrospect, I would recommend doing the train. Even though using the car is convenient, there is a car coming. Um, the driver, I think Justin was pretty stressed out just going down this way because it was zigzagging all through the mountains. But the village itself is so, so cute. guys we made an executive decision and we walked from Monterosso al mare which is a smaller village on the side to Monterosso. it took us like 10 minutes through the tunnel underneath like the castle if you have a park there 
one of the suggestions that we didn't know traveling with kids and on the car is what you need to put as the final destination is a parking spot and where you're going and then make sure that on that parking you can easily walk down to the villages because they are high up in the mountains and then once you get to the villages you can take the train between all of them so we can go to Vernassa now <music> I have lost my voice and it's still really really bad but I do want to wrap up the Cinque Terre vlog the Tuscany vlog by the way guys I'm gonna put everything in the links like the car that we used the car rental service because we ended up with the van we have a party of seven so we couldn't get the smaller car so I will leave all of that in description but one thing that I wanted to say is that Cinque Terre is definitely not like a day trip destination in my opinion I would want to come back there and stay two nights and do like two villages a day to fully get the experience, the boat, right? Otherwise, I felt like we were just popping in and out and it didn't get like a full feel. Like you got pretty pictures, but you didn't get the full feel for the villages. Um, but now we have just arrived in Venice, so make sure to go and check out my Venice with Kids vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one.